Hello and welcome to the retention dashboard Excel template from Inzara.com. In this video, I will provide an overview of the features of this Excel template and also do a live tour of the template to understand the features that are available in this template. In a following video, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step data entry into this template and see how the dashboards are automatically created from the data that we enter. This template is available from inzara.com. I will be providing the link to the specific product page in the video description below. If you have any questions about this template, please reach out to me in the comment section below. Now let's get started. The purpose of this Excel template is to provide a simple and effective solution to tracking employee retention in your organization. If you are in the HR department in your organization, and if you're responsible for tracking employee retention, then this template will make that task very, very easy and simple. You will be able to enter your own data into this template and automatically create retention metrics and dashboards within minutes. As soon as you enter the data, the dashboards will update immediately. This will provide you a lot of insights about employee retention in your organization, which will help you to take actions to improve the employee retention. Here are some of the highlights of this template. There are seven retention KPIs or key performance indicators, which are automatically calculated for you. There are three visually effective and interactive dashboards. The data entry is simplified and all the calculations are automated, so you don't have to do anything. You will save a lot of time. The design is modular, which means that you can remove things you don't need. You can rename things to meet your needs in your organization. Also, there's only one file for life, which means that you can continue to add employees as the new employees join. You can update the information about existing employees. You can also track employees who have left the organization. All of this you can continue to use every day forever. There is a 1000 employee limit by default, but you can extend that easily within a minute to any number of employees as your organization needs. The three automated dashboards, the retention dashboard, snapshot dashboard, and also an exit dashboard. The retention dashboard provides those seven effective KPIs, as we see active employees, number of new hires, exits, turnover rate, retention rate, the average tenure of your employee base, and also average tenure of those employees who have exited. All of this is automatically and immediately updated in this dashboard as soon as you enter the data. The snapshot dashboard provides a quick snapshot of your employees in your organization. What is the gender breakdown of your employees in your organization? You can see which locations have how many employees, and you can also see you know, what type of jobs make up your employee base in terms of percentage. So all of this information is readily available at your fingertips using an interactive dashboard. The dashboard also has a second page which breaks down based on average tenure. You can also see whether a certain location has higher tenure compared to others. At the top, you see the distribution by tenure. So essentially saying all your employees are they high tenured or are they all relatively new to the organization? The exit dashboard provides a summary of employees who have exited the company, meaning who have left the company for different reasons. And so in this case, there are seven total employees who have left the company in this period. And you can see five of them left voluntarily, two of them involuntary. And then when they left, the average tenure was 3.2 years. And then it gives you the exit type, the reason why they exited, and then what was the tenure at the time of exit, uh, and the average tenure you know, of people who exited the company every month. You can see whether it's trending up or down. You can also see the same information by month and also by reason over month, meaning um, is your voluntary exit increasing versus involuntary? is the reason for exit changing over time. So all of this, again, readily available to you 
with a lot of slicers so you can drill down to a specific location or department um, or whatever attribute you've chosen. So you may think that this is a lot of good insights about your organization. Does it take a lot of time to input all this data? The answer is no. There's no you know, five different sheets you have to input information, none of that. All, uh, all that is required from you as input is in only one table in one sheet. Basically, you enter each employee information, enter their attributes uh, across, and that's it. As new employees join, you add a new uh, record. Existing employees change their attributes. You just update the record. And then when people leave, you in input the exit attributes. That's it. All of this in one file and all the other calculations, all the dashboard calculations, everything is fully automated. So all you have to do is to enter the data, hit refresh, and you're done. The template has also been designed to be modular. This is very important, which allows you to customize the template to fit your needs. For example, the dashboard elements can be removed if you don't need a specific attribute. You can you know, rename the slices on the dashboard, and then you can have these uh, employee attributes and job attributes and exit attributes, and there are totally 14 different attributes and out of those 11 can be fully customized by you renamed by you and use it for any purpose as you need it and so this design allows the retention dashboard to be completely your own organization specific dashboards the template requires excel for windows or excel for mac or it also works in excel online so you can publish this template in your organization online within your OneDrive account and allow this to be shared within your organization's employees and anybody can input information and uh, work on it you know, simultaneously as well. So all of that is enabled in this template. The benefits of the template are very straightforward. So you have a very streamlined process of entering data, which saves you a lot of time. All the calculations are automated. That again saves you a lot of time and effective dashboards are allowing you to get to the insights about your retention in your organization so that you can take action and improve retention in your organization and make employees happier. It will also allow you to identify why the employees are leaving, which means it sometimes could be on how employees are being hired. So it might influence also how employees are hired in your organization, where do they get hired from, and that will again improve and uh, improve the overall recruitment and retention cycle and also save you a lot of money so that you hire the right employees and retain them for longer periods of time. You will definitely save a lot of money compared to any of the other costly software, which could be like a monthly subscription or um, over the cloud kind of software here. This is a very simple Excel file, which you can enter information and you store it where you need it and all of the information is secured within your control. And the fact that it's in Excel allows you to change the format, add a new sheet uh, as you need to add other notes or other things because it's Excel. And you're also very familiar, so there's no learning curve. Now, if you need more information about this product, please visit the product page. I will be putting the link in the video description below. If you have any specific questions, you can email me at support at nzara.com or also post in the comments in the video below. And in the next video, I will be doing a demo of this exact template. Now let's take a quick look at the um, live tour of this template. So this is our template. I'll be providing some links to help you get started in using this template. And this is the employees data, the input sheet that I mentioned about. So all of the employee information is entered here. And if I want to enter a new employee, I just, you know, enter here, that's it. And if the employee is exiting, meaning the existing employee is leaving the company, there are exit attributes here. So the date when the employee is exiting and then the type of uh, uh, exit and also the reason why they are exiting. So if you enter this information, that's it. That's all it's needed. And as I've mentioned um, here, certain columns, you don't want to repurpose them because there are calculations built on that. But then there are other um, columns which can be completely um, you know, customized as you need. If you want to change this column to another, you can. If you change this and reuse it for a different reason, perfectly fine. They will still flow through to the dashboards without any problems. The employee ID is a required field, so make sure that you enter that information. 
and then we go and take a look at the dashboards. So this is our employee retention dashboard, which shows the last 12 months of these seven KPIs. And you can see it broken down by month. It also gives you the overall um, metric as well. And then when we go into the snapshot dashboard, and this is our snapshot dashboard. So it, uh, it has all these slicers um, to enable us to drill down. For example, I can look at only the part-time employees by just clicking on it and I can unfilter by looking at all the employees. I can look at only employees who are active, and this gives me these employees are active right now. So within all, within all these active employees, let me say, for example, I wanna look at only those who, are, who have been here for more than four years of tenure. So I click on that, and now I can see those employees who have worked in the company for more than four years. So this is how easy it is for me to drill down. I can look at only employees in a specific location and I can then see, okay, now what departments do they belong to? And then what is the average tenure of employees in that specific um, location? And I can see the full-time, part-time, whether the tenure is different between the full-time employees and part-time, and you know where did we hire the employees from? Um, and then all the other information that we have seen before can be filtered. So I'm gonna unfilter this, and then I'm gonna unfilter tenure. So now I see all active employees. That's as easy as it is. And you can also look at it for only people who have exited. So I can click on exit, and this gives me, of those people who left the company, you know, what's the breakdown by location, type, and all this information. Now I'm gonna clear the filter, and let's go to the exit dashboard. The additional information that the exit dashboard provides is very specific about exit, meaning the type of exit. Is it involuntary or voluntary? Exit reason, and what's the tenure at exit? So these are very specific to exit employees, so that's why it's a separate dashboard. And you can see that the total number of exits, voluntary, involuntary, average tenure exit, are the key metrics here. And the slices are available for us to say, okay, now I wanna see only the voluntary exit. So I click on it, and now I can see there are five voluntary exits, and I can see whether um, there is a trend uh, which is increasing, or I can also see the exit reason why the, uh, these employees are voluntarily leaving. So this is a, the reason is pay, and then here the reason is personal, here it is you know, the career growth. So you can see the different reasons over time as well. Uh, I can clear the filter so I can see all the data, and I can also filter by month. For example, I can go and say, show me for March, there's no data. Show me for April to July, and I can do a period, and April to July there were two exits, and I can see the data for only those two employees. So this is how the exit dashboard works. Overall, you input the data in the employee's data sheet, and then you go and say data refresh, and that updates all the three dashboards, and then you will immediately be able to see what's happening in your organization in terms of retention. And this, these insights will help you improve the employee retention in your organization. Now, if you have any questions about anything about this template, please post in the comment section below, and I will be very, very glad to respond back to you addressing your questions. If you have any suggestions on how to improve this template further, please put them in the comments as well. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for watching.